Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Mengs and I welcome you guys back to some more Pride and Justice. I love you, Eric Burke. Uh, sorry for taking a little while to get this uh, video out. Um, I was busy doing something <laughs> and I, I, I was so busy getting the spotlight out yesterday that I didn't record an episode before going to bed. So, uh, it's time to take on the Emperor. Emperor Mikhail. Wait, what? Emperor Mikhail? I've received a letter from Prince Percy. Oh, right, he's he's a prince, not an em- what? Don't read it to me. He's already told me what he wants as emperor. Dissolving on the, the duchies and making one peaceful land? The boy is asking for the death of Irona. Does he not know the conflict such a change would bring? Want me to get him, sire? No, that will not be necessary. Is this a, is this a flashback? I'll have to make his brother the rightful heir in his place. Uh, my lord? Are you sure that's wise? Bruce knows what he's doing. He chose to serve the people, not chasing some wild fantasy. I'll write down the official note, then I'll present it publicly. You are dismissed. Very well, sire. Ah, a moment of peace and quiet. Now time to give my dastard son some well-earned retribution. You'll do no such thing, Emperor Mikhail. Wh what Show yourself! Bruce is dead. Killed by my own hands. Oh, this is Kale, isn't it? I must see to it that Perseus gets into power. Fast. Who the hell are you? What kind of black magic is this? Arona's new High Magus. Give Count Ortron to my regards in the afterlife. Gah, you demon! Now it all begins. Next up on my list, the Prince of Aubrain. Ooh, this will be a fun one. Okay, so yeah, this was a flashback, I think. Hmm. So Perseus is only in power because Kayla put him there. Yeah, that makes sense. He's a puppet. <clears throat> Well, if it isn't the Wonder Princess and her band of ne'er-do-wells. I've heard quite a lot about what you've done, milady. You've impressed me. Emperor Perseus, I've anticipated this day for 11 years. Today, you will be punished for your crimes against Irona. For these 11 years, I've been trying to make Irona into a perfect civilization. No more war, no more inter duchy scandals. Nothing but a happy, peaceful realm. And you've taken that all away from me. And for that, you will all die. Your noble intentions do not excuse you of your crimes. It's time to pay. You'll notice that all of our soldiers are rallying behind us. Your reign ends today, Emperor Perseus. Let's see if you can hold true to your claim. Can you defeat my army and dethrone Arona's emperor? We shall have to see. But regardless, only one of us is leaving this place alive, and it's sure as hell not gonna be you. Men, to your stations. This ends now. Oh wow, he ran away really quickly. Oh boy, is it time for Super Smash? Soldiers of Abrain, soldiers of the lands beyond. For a long, long time, we have suffered at the hands of Perseus and Kayla. And today, we get to remove one of those foes. Lend me your, lend me your strength once more, and let's remove Perseus from power. Men, attack! <clears throat> okay, cool. Ooh. Ooh. Big throne, oh, big throne room. And here he is, Perseus, the Emperor. He has the King Sword <clears throat> and the Don Betia. Very cool, very cool. This gives me um, FE6 Final Chapter vibes. Uh, oh, it's a great paladin. Huh. Uh, is that the first time we see a generic great paladin? Hmm. Well, this map looks tricky, but I start pretty close to the throne room. Um. Hmm, do we want to try a, like a brave warp or something? I, I think I want to try a warp for this chapter because this is a, it looks like a really long one and Like I'm these guys are not that far away from the throne room I think if I start out here, I can probably like warp Adrian in and just have her bunk I want to try that, but let me do battle preps real quick first All right Ladies and gentlemen, I think I have a strategy. I want to try this sounds like fun So let's go and let's listen to the war room Oh my god, is this Radiant Dawn? This is Radiant Dawn. I gotta turn up the volume. This is amazing.
I love the song. <laughs> oh man, what a what a what a what a track! All right, we gotta actually play this chapter, I guess. But first, let's listen to the war room. Final war room during the battle against Perseus. It's been such a long time, hasn't it? Feels like yesterday we were taking on those bandits in Abrin. Regardless, let's get this out of the way. Perseus' army will be your ultimate test of strength. With the various enemies with high stats and strong weapons, your army will be pushed to its limit. Alternatively, Adrian will be pushed to her limit. Make strong use of your healers and push through the castle halls. Once you get through the first door, the enemy cavalry will charge. There's a grand paladin in there, but I don't know why. When fighting Perseus, use an S-rank weapon to bypass his high defenses. End this war once and for all. Let's do this. Alternatively, I could just use Adrian. Alright, so I'll do a... Um, I'll rally up Adrian. And then I would like to do... I would like to... Yeah, and then we want to do this, obviously. So the question is right now, do I want to, like, give her a... Um, do you want to give her, like, a Fila's Might? Or maybe, like, an, maybe a Ninnin's Grace would be better. I don't know. Because she could get a... She could get a remove. I, I don't know if I can get her... Um, I don't know if I can get her all the way over here. Hmm. I don't... Hmm. No, I cannot. So, I would have to... I, I've given her... Oh, shit. Wait. Uh, yeah. I was supposed to put, pop the energy ring on her. That was a bit dumb. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. So, the question is, what kind of dance do I want to give her? I mean, she does 44 damage, so she'll probably kill all of these guys. I've also given her the speed relic, so she'll probably kill these guys regardless. So the question is, do I want to give her a dance at all? I suppose I kind of do, but I also have to get George away from there if I want to do that. I can always, like, rescue her, I guess. So I don't know. We could do Helos Might, which is plus 10 damage, which is kind of nice. We have Nina's Grace, which is plus 10 defense. Or Thorsire that boosts her crit. Or Seth's Litany that boosts her avoid. You know what? Normally, I almost never do Seth's Litany, but I think it might be warranted here. Because I think that if these guys hit her, she's probably dead, even with plus 10 defense. That's right, I just used Seth's Litany in the Fire Emblem game. That's right, I just used Seth's Litany in a Fire Emblem game. Alright, let's go. Let's see if Adrian gets a remove. That would be really, really swell. So we have to go and uh, open this door, I think? Okay, so too bad about that energy ring. I was gonna give it to her, but I forgot. So I guess we could just use their should Yeah, there's, there's an unlock staff here. Three unlock staffs, actually. All right, remove, remove. Yes! Oh ho 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 ho! All right, so Holy Lights. Is okay against Perseus. Actually, like, uh, a, a s okay. I should have probably given her the uh, the damage ring. Okay, let's try the let's try the Hellfire. How does the Hellfire do against the other boss? So the Hellfire is actually worse. So uh, let's not do that. I mean, I guess, I guess what I could do is I could do I could equip the Holy Light and then I could just use the. Um, I could use the energy ring on Adrian. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Bam. Oh! Okay. Alright, let's go. Wow, he still does quite a lot of damage, though. Maybe I actually want him to use his tome? 23 damage. That is kind of nasty. What, these other guys, what, what's their hit rate? These guys even move. Yeah, they move. Uh, they, their hit rate is really bad. I think I want to attack him from a distance. Let's go. Oh, that's Arvis's team. This is a really good version of the theme. The 
This is a really good version of the theme. I've heard a lot of uh, variants of the Arvis theme over the years. This one's really good. So you made it, young lady. Let's see how you handle my strength. I will not back down. I will defeat you. I will save our continent from your tyranny. And guard, Emperor. Oof. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I should I should have gone for the plus ten damage thing or plus ten crit, but I don't know. I figured she needed the avoid. All right. Will I get another remove? Oh yeah, I will. <laughs> Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, here's the question though. Can I... I'm kind of worried about her. I think maybe I should just, uh... Almost said drink a monster. I guess I'll take an elixir? I swear to god, Adrian is the most busted lord in the series. Okay, there we go. We're, we're out of removes, guys. We're out of removes. So I guess the other guys, they can probably just fight in the meanwhile. Phineas doesn't have his speed relic anymore, but he can still deal with these two guys relatively okay. So let's just put him here. And what kind of weapons do they have? Short short spares. Okay. So maybe we want uh, a spare and a short axe then. There we go. And Tabita can go here with a killer bow. Same as Derek. And we can also keep inspiration and range for all of these guys. There we go. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, if I if I had given her the plus 10 damage ring, oh. Why does he not have animations? Did I accidentally press X? I don't know. Okay, they're trying to reinforce Adrian. <laughs> But I'll probably... I don't know if there's any healers in his throne room, though. There probably are. So, yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a mistake on my end. Oh, here he comes. Irona will not fall. Irona is strong. Irona is eternal. You will die for your insolence. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, he'll die. Oh, no. I could crit, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I'll kill him next turn. Unless he gets healed. He might get healed, actually. There's Bishop is in the throne room. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I don't know why Phineas is not displaying animations. Did I not turn animations on for anyone? Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. That's weird. Huh. So yeah, I should probably uh, inform you guys that uh, I had to replay the last map off screen again because I lost my save file. Uh, that's why you're... Yeah, yeah, I completely forgot to say this. I am really sorry. Uh, so when I started up this game today, this is also one of the reasons why it's a little bit later. Um, I uh, realized that I forgot to save my progress in the last chapter. So I had to really quickly play the last chapter off screen. That's why animations are off right now. Um, and it seems like I forgot to turn animations on. However, against bosses, animations are always displayed. So, let's uh, turn them on again. There we go. That's why. Okay, so I think I can... Yeah, he didn't get healed. Wow. Wow, okay, it didn't even get healed. Alright, so we can just kill Perseus then. <laughs> we can just kill Perseus. But let's, uh, let's kill some goons first, shall we? I love how the music continues, it's really cool. It really makes the battle feel a lot more epic, in a way. Oh wow, he actually hit me. Ah, that's a level up for Dan. Level 14, oh, he capped his power, boys. He capped his power. And, uh, ooh, we got attacked by these guys, too, hmm. I suppose we can just, uh, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure I'll kill Perseus. I have like a 100% chance to hit him, so... I might as well get what experience I can from here and then move on. Oh! Adept? Yeah! Invisible Adept proc, though. I really don't know why the, the animations just sometimes don't display. It's really weird. I don't know why I'm using Luna here. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, you black magic. Woo! <laughs> I gotta say one thing about this uh, ROM hack. It uses some pretty kick-ass music. All right. Um, <laughs> we're on reverse mode, so we cannot attack here. Not unless we, uh, not unless we heal up first. There we go. You're dead. And yeah, then we killed the Emperor. That was, uh, that was quick and easy. Crazy what you can do when you have a Lord that can move like five times in a turn. <laughs> oh boy, okay, she could miss, I guess. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Is this kill boss or seize? Because if it's seize, I have a problem. Oh, there we go. Boop, boop. Oh. Mmm, you're dead, buddy. Bruce, father, I couldn't make a run of the perfect land. I hope you can forgive me. Nah, it's a kill boss chapter. Perseus is gone. We did it. We actually did it. One step to Irona's liberation is complete. And as for your second step, well, let's just say it's not gonna be easy. Kayla! Oh, it's time to show up and gloat. You managed to defeat the Imperial Army. Kudos to you, milady. You're next in line, Kayla. Run wherever you want. There's nowhere you can go that I can't find you. The Spire is just days away from being completely unsealed. Once that happens, the Ice Dragons are released. I'll have the power to rule Irona. Why do you want our land so badly? Irona is my birthright. For years, I've been scheming to claim the throne. Everything from Mikhail's death to Perseus' ascension was my doing. For the past 11 years, I've been pulling the strings. <laughs> Kayla, you were behind this. Yes, it was I. <laughs> for I am my, my machinations lay undetected for years. For I am a master of deception. <laughs> Perseus had no blood relatives left. How can you be of royal blood? Perhaps you'll find that out at the Spire. Besides, I have one more thing I want to show you. Onyx Dragon, Dragoon, remove your armor. Who could it be? Oh my god, the reveal! Show Adrian who your true identity is. Oh my god, it's Travis! He hasn't aged a day, though. Like, look at him. He has, like, the exact same portrait he had, like, 11 years ago. Are you, are you really telling me that he hasn't aged a day? Like... I guess he is like a construct, but still. T Travis? No, that can't be. Travis is dead. Stop playing tricks on us, Kayla. Who is the true Onyx Dragon? You're staring right at him. On that day, 11 years ago, the day that Travis died, I saw his potential as a warrior. I knew he could oppose me in the future, so I wanted that strength for myself. I killed Travis and reanimated his corpse. Okay, if it's a reanimated corpse, then that makes sense. Reborn as the Onyx Drag Dragoon, Travis would follow my every command. But as you've likely seen, he somehow managed to begin remembering his past. Works for me, though. I get to watch the suffering on his face as he kills you all. You inhuman piece of- I'll kill you! Not so fast, Adrian. Don't forget my blessing from the Spire. You aren't touching me anytime soon. <laughs> we should get it going, Travis. No. Adrian! Travis, hang on, I'll save you. Adrian! So wait, if Kayla's like invulnerable, why don't she just kill Adrian, right? Kayla can't be harmed, right? She's like Garnev, she has like protection. Why don't she just like kill Adrian right here? <laughs> Travis. How could I let this happen? Don't beat yourself over it, Donovan. We can still save him. We just have to get to the spire. Excuse me, commanders. Duke Simon was found in the holding cell. So Alright, her dad. Father! Not so quick, Malay Malady. Hmm? Who? Adrian, is that you? Wow, a dad survived in Fire Emblem. Oof. Father. Uh, oof. <laughs> I know it's been a while. But isn't a bear hug like- But is a bear- Isn't a bear hug like this necessary? I think he meant to say, is a bear hug like this necessary? Yes. <laughs> I missed you so much, Father. And when I heard that you got captured, I didn't know what to think. Did he hear about the Onyx Dragoon? About who he really is? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the 
This may sound impossible, but the Onyx Dragoon... The Onyx Dragoon is Travis. What? Adrian, don't say things like that. I wouldn't lie to you, father. When Kayla killed Travis, she reanimated his body so he could serve her. As of late, he's been regaining his memory. We, we can save Travis? We can be a family again? Hopefully. I have no idea how it'll work, seeing as he did die. There's something else I need to tell you, father. We're going to attack the Spire of Darkness. You're going to finish this. Then I'm coming along. But you aren't up to fighting. You've been here for so long. I'll decide if I'm ready. Oh, I'll decide if I'm ready. Besides, I'm still your superior, so I can overrule your orders, you know? Oh, father. Cool, we get to fight with daddy. Nice. Oh, he's a great knight. I knew that, I think. So this is the royal vault? Yes, they say many helpful treasures are here. But you need royal blood to open it. And neither of us come from the royal line. Wait, you don't? Oh, right, from from uh, the Arona royal line. Oh, don't you worry now. I got this. Hermit. I heard you were taking on Perseus. So I came to help out. Turns out I was a bit too late, though. But I still have my magic capabilities for use in battle. Oh, cool, he's gonna be our Athos. And perhaps most importantly, since I'm descended from the Hero of Light, I can open the vaults. Don't forget the first Emperor was the Hero's brother. Ah, oh, okay. That was convenient. So many beautiful treasures. All just rotting here. I hope we can find a good use for them now. Adrian, there are two very important treasures you'll need if you want to challenge Kayla. First is this. It's so beautiful. What is it? It's an object called the fire. Oh wow, they actually put the fire emblem in this game? It has the power to seal the Spire of Darkness. It is what the Hero of Light used 500 years ago. So the Hero of Light used this to end the Era of Darkness? I'll make good use of it, Hermit. Oh, it's an item! Seals? Oh, okay. Okay, we'll keep this in her inventory. This one is a weapon. The Light Tome was once wielded by the Hero of Light. It's called Exordium. Exordium? Exordium has the power to seal darkness. Although the Fire Emblem is needed to seal the Spire, Exordium can destroy monsters, and perhaps most notably, permanently disable the dark barrier Kayla, Kayla's protecting herself with, allowing anyone to fight her. Well, Kayla, it would have been good for you to maybe snatch these items up, you know? Thank you so much, Hermit. Now we can't lose. Let's do this. Exordium. Okay. Monster stealing light beams for Adrian. Ooh, okay. Fuck you, holy light. <laughs> we got a new one. Okay, that was uh, quick and easy. Hope you guys don't mind. I really want to try and uh, warp skip a chapter. Was, uh... <laughs> Sorry to God, Adrian. Adrian with remove is like completely breaks the game. Holy crap. But it's fun to break the game every now and then. Uh, we killed Perseus. Yeah, now we're gonna go kill the thick witch and uh, bring her evil schemes to an end. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode of Pride and Justice. Stay safe and take care.